Hey, this is Jay here in Israel sharing with you the pattern that Jesus gave to His disciples where they would go and find persons of peace. And He would tell them to go into a house of peace. He would, they would say to say Shalom and to bless the house in, in His name. And they were to eat what was set before them. They were to eat and drink what was set before them. They were to heal the sick that were there and, and say the kingdom of God has come near you. And so that pattern that He gave to them was to be multiplied everywhere. And he would baptize them, and they would baptize others in the name of Yeshua. And they would help them to obey all of his commands, not just some of his commands, but every command of Yeshua, to lovingly do this. And to, when you do this, you help them to become uh, worshipers, and Jesus becomes king of these new believers' hearts. And not just to do evangelism, not just to do discipleship, help them to form congregations that have a vision to go out and start other congregations in areas where there are no congregations. And it's not just enough to help them start congregations, it's we have to raise up leaders like Cornelius, like Peter did with Cornelius in Acts chapter 10, where these leaders have the vision, have the, the responsible people who go out and train others to have a vision to go where the church is not yet. And so this pattern that he sent them out, he formed the team, he trained the team, he sent the team out to go find persons of peace, and then they reported back to him. And he listened to them, he evaluated what they did, he assigned them new tasks and new studies, and he prays for them and he praises them. And he trains them up behind the scenes, he mentors them, coaches them, until they feel confident enough to see the kingdom established and catalyze movements everywhere they go that have a vision to complete the Great Commission that Yeshua gave us. How you complete the Great Commission, you follow the pattern he gave in Matthew chapter 10, Luke chapter 10, and Acts chapter 10.